Good afternoon, it's Jeffrey Douglas. It's October 2017, we're in Yosemite Valley. Just pulled in for the night to camp. Not our usual spot, uh, but when you're in Yosemite Valley, there's not a great deal of choice. Today I wanted to show you just how easy it is to set up our new James Brood tent. Actually, it takes only about two or three minutes and we're getting better at it every time we do it. But stand by and I'll show you just how easy it is to set up. So first thing you do is you take these buckles off and these clip up like that so they don't rattle. Go around to the other side of the car. Same thing here, you push these together to unlock the mechanism, pull down and again lock up there so it's locked up. That's how easy it is to unbuckle it. Now we've done the first um, We've done the same thing on the front uh, buckles, so they're already loose. And the next thing you want to do is just come up here and start raising the tent up. Just like that. So that's how you get that going. So now to make it a little easier, I go ahead and open the doors. Come around, unloosen that. Back around. Hi, how are you? Good. Up she goes. Um, so that's how easy it is to get the tent up. Next thing you do is you're going to pull the ladder out. We keep the ladder up in the tent along with our sleeping bags and pillows and everything, which makes it handy. We don't have to have those in the uh, car with us. And um, then you're going to go into the tent and you actually lock the mechanisms that hold the tent up and that makes it much more secure. So uh, I'll go ahead and just demonstrate how that works very quickly. All right, so that's what the ladder looks like. Um, you'll hear a lot of people complain about the ladder and it doesn't latch once you've got it up. Um, I really have no issue with that right now. You do wanna make sure that when you put it on the car or the Rover that you uh, make sure it's secure. But um, so far, no problems with it at all. It basically clips in like that. And then you're going to watch your fingers as you slide it down. And the trick is to get it out at a, enough of an angle that it's, that it's sturdy. Ideally, if you can get these two lined up, that works as well. Very good. So one of the things I love about this tent is its ability to really open up the screens and it's almost like being on a little bit of a penthouse up here, um, very open. I was afraid I was going to be a little bit claustrophobic in such a small space, but with all the screens open and everything, it's a pleasure to lay, lay around here in the afternoon, read a book, uh, get out of the elements, a uh, very comfortable bed. I would say the bed is not the most comfortable bed ever, but uh, I did get the other piece that you put underneath the bed, and it's pretty comfortable. I may eventually put a, a topper on it, but right now, even at my weight, it's, it's more, than, more than adequate. 
So the last thing that you do on this setup is you're going to make sure that these struts are locked into place and that's really very easy. All you do is come over here and you basically just click them into place and now that makes it much more secure. Same way on the back here. Click them into place and you can hear that pops in and that does make it um, quite secure. I understand that the tents uh, rated up to 50 or 60 miles an hour. We've not been in a campground or a camp situation where that's happened yet, but I will absolutely update you as we know more about this tent as we move forward. So thanks very much for stopping by. We'll watch for the series that we'll have on this tent and our experiences with it, and uh, we'll be in touch soon. Remember to get outdoors. This is Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover. Have a wonderful day.